Hi everybody, I'm Elliot Schrafer and I'm the author of The Lost Rainforest. So The Lost Rainforest is about a magical kingdom called Caldera, which has always been divided into animals that walk by day and animals that walk by night. And the veil of dusk and dawn separate them entirely. So for a creature who lives only by night, like Mez the young panther, uh, the day walking creatures are creatures of legend. She's never met any. All she knows is her, her group of uh, other panthers that she's growing up with, her aunt who's raising her after her mother died, and her sister Chumba, who's her favorite thing in the world, is her, um, her favorite baby sister. One day after, the, after an eclipse happens, the animals that walked by day and the animals that walked by night can actually meet each other and a mysterious stranger arrives, announcing a new evil threatening the rainforest kingdom. Mez must venture across the rainforest on a quest to save the only land that she's ever known. So while I was writing The Lost Rainforest, I actually got an invitation to do a school visit at the International School in Lima. And so there I spent a week going on treks to meet the animals. I met virtually all the animals you see in, in The Lost Rainforest. I got to see it one time or another, including at one point, I actually, uh, I didn't get to see a panther itself because they're the most elusive of the animals, but I saw a, a footprint that was still soft in the mud from where a panther had passed just before me. So that was the closest I came to Mez, the, uh, the main character of the book. Being in the jungle actually gave me a huge sense of the sensory details of what it was like. I got a lot of the facts and figures I needed from, from book research, but I really got a sense of what the air felt like and the chillness of the night that falls so quickly uh, when you're at the equator, and also the heat during the day that just weighs down everything. At night, we turned on our headlamps, and the same trail that I had gone just an hour before was totally different. It was an entirely different group of animals, the giant, giant, frogs like the cane toad just over a foot long and then little tree frogs everywhere and we, we sloshed through a, a marsh in, in the pitch dark and there were caimans, the small alligators uh, on, on either side. So it was deeply horrifying for me but really useful for, uh, for research for the book. One thing I discovered in my research of the rainforest is that there is this really distinct difference between the animals that exist during the day and the animals that exist at nighttime. They will hide during the other time of day and only come out in their own prescribed time. And I realized as I was plotting the lost rainforest that these animals wouldn't even ever meet the, uh, the other, the animals that are in the opposite time of day. The rainforest is underrepresented in children's literature, I think. Uh, it's such an exciting, mysterious place with animals lurking about uh, during the day and during the night that I think it's, it was exciting to get a chance to spend time in it as an author, and hopefully readers will be excited by it too.